Welcome to Skills Jam. I'm going to take it to the top. Where skills, passion, and ambition collide. There's a major skilled labor gap in America. It's up to the next generation to take this challenge head on and transform this crisis into the opportunity of a lifetime. Step inside the most exciting competition you've probably never heard of. The National Skills USA Championships, where thousands of students from across the country flock to Atlanta every year hoping to be recognized as the best in their craft. From culinary and cosmetology to construction and robotics, these students are carving out their futures with their own hands. Like Eric and Jennifer and James and Jose, two teams from different states, both with a passion for game design, which takes them from the classroom to the main stage, and ultimately behind the doors of a AAA video game developer. Are you ready to ignite the future? This is Skills Jam. I want to turn him into a bullet. A bullet? Yeah. Oh, so he just like... So no, he doesn't, he no longer selects you, he just... <laughs> My name is Jose. My name is James. We build video games at... Lakeview Leadership Academy. And we create in Toasterhead. We came up with Toasterhead for the Skills USA competition. It was, you need something whimsical, like it has to fit the whimsical theme. So the first thing I did was I searched up, what does whimsical mean? It's like something unexpected, random. And I was like, you know, it'd be kind of random if a toaster just comes falling from the sky and like merges onto you while you're like just on your little jog. You know what would be really whimsical? Just chucking toasters <laughs> at like joggers' heads. <laughs> It's a top-down, uh, top-down RPG, -like RPG game. game. Like an open yeah. world. There's zombie fruits. Mm -hmm. A coconut boss fight. And then he'll collect his golden spork and win the game. So like, there'll be one state where like, he's charging at the player. After school, I work at a fast food restaurant. If I'm not working at my job, I'm working on the game. It's pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie, to make the games while working at the same time. Like, right now in my backpack, I have three textbooks I haven't turned in yet, and if I don't they turn them in... They were due a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get fined or I don't get to walk, so... Really turn those in. <laughs> so, I was born in Iowa, and then my family moved out to California, where I've lived for most of my life. Uh, when COVID happened, we moved to Iowa, and then I was like, I really miss my friend. I want to come back to California. So for like the past year, I've been renting and living with my best friend from preschool. It's been hard to be away from my family as much as I have. I miss my parents a lot. All right, guys, who can mention a game that you've played and talk about what makes that game a good game? Me and my dad play Halo all the time. Halo. What are some of the things that you like about that game? You can play with other people. You get to play with other people, so it has this social aspect? Well, in video game design, we teach students how to make games. Jose came to our school as a senior. When he first came in, he said, Mr. Ortega, whenever you have a chance, can I show you some of the work I've been doing? And as soon as he showed me, I'm like, wait a minute, when did you do this? Oh, I've been trying to you know, build my games by myself, YouTube and so on. I'm like, wow. I knew it immediately that Jose was a natural. James, I knew him since he was in middle school. And then he left and he came back this year as a senior. Yet he has the same passion, the same zest for life. As soon as I put James and Jose together, they're able to work together in, in, in sharing ideas and embracing each other's views on things. My name is Jennifer. I compete in interactive application and I go to Westminster High School. I'm a sophomore and Eric is a senior, and we create Yuki. Yuki goes to three different levels, and in the first one, you eat tacos, and you collect Mexican pesos, so you can unlock the second level. 
you are running through the beach and you have to skip like the balls that a guy is throwing. And yeah, there's people dancing in the beach. Yeah. My name is Eric and I make video games. Y soy el mejor diseñador de videojuegos del mundo. <risa> Me apasiona que es algo que siempre he querido hacer. Pues fue algo muy raro porque al principio teníamos una idea, un concepto diferente. No, pues que somos de México, vamos a crear algo que nunca se ha visto. Guys, we're going to start creating and learn what it takes to build a video game. Somebody tell me, what's a, what is a video game? I'm Mr. Figueroa. I do everything that's related to computer sciences and technology. With them, I'm working in interactive media and video game design. Describe Mr. Figueroa and, and your relationship with him. Es un segundo padre para mí, ya que desde el primer día que llegué aquí ha estado apoyándome. Esto es para que él, que él siempre quiso que vaya al college, sí o sí, me ayuda con mis grados, con todo, y quisiera seguir sus pasos. Students that are good for video game design are students that have a lot of creativity, a lot of critical thinking skills. And for us, the majority of the students are socially, economically disadvantaged students. But at the same time, we believe that all students have the possibility of, of achieving big if you give them the right resources. Me, my older brother, my younger brother, my sister, and then my stepdad, we kind of had to live in a shed, like all five, five of us. It was pretty challenging. I didn't really realize it until Mr. Ortega said something about it. He said like, oh, you really can overcome challenges because if something like that happens to someone who's not really flexible, they could just like stop dead in the water, just like give up. That's one thing I really have to overcome in my journey to like becoming a successful game developer is just like understanding that things don't go your way, but it's okay, you got to get on the path. Oh, I want your opinion. What do you think about it? San Ignacio. San Ignacio. This is a, yeah. the Mexican peso. So this happened because my dad passed away like two years ago. And I always have the motivation that he will be really proud of everything. And I know in the video game design project, he will be like more proud because he used to play video games and we also played together. And yeah, I think it's my motivation for everyone. For everything. <laughs> I like it so much. Like, you have the idea that we want yeah, to represent. So exactly, that is exactly. Exciting. As you guys have all heard, we won at the Skills USA State Conference for interactive media and game development. We took first place, so I think it's super exciting that we have two of our fellow students, Eric and Jennifer, who are going to get the chance to present their product at Nationals. Let's give them a round of applause. That's awesome. <laughs> so I would like at this point to introduce to you the two students that are going to Nationals, Jose and James. Can you come up here for the front so kids can see you, please? So we're going to Nationals. I'm excited to go to Atlanta. It's a new area. It'll give us a chance to compete. It'll give us challenges to like conquer. There's a lot of pressure, but I feel like the pressure is just making me more motivated. Like, oh yeah, I got to do this. Both teams from Colorado and California have advanced to the national championship in Atlanta, Georgia, where they'll face off against the best students from around the nation in interactive application and video game development. We got to make it perfect, the beginning of the game. Everybody needs some sort of goal to, to achieve. It gives them a motive to make their game even better. You're going to need your red jackets. It feels really amazing to go to nationals. I'm still like, I'm really doing this. <laughs> now you guys are ready? Yeah. Let's go get them. Porque vamos a ganar esta competencia y Colorado se va a llamar el campeonato en esta categoría.
the students from Colorado and California are heading to the national championships in Atlanta, where they'll engage in an epic four-day showdown against the nation's most skilled student gamers. It's a picture with my dad. That's one of the most special things that I'm bringing to Atlanta. I don't know what it is. I can't find anything different in both of our codes. Me and Jose are on the drive to the airports to leave for the Skills USA. Jose, how how you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Because I'm nervous. Uh, right now, me and Jose are in our hotel room. We are setting up our board. We are currently getting prepared. We're finally here at the convention. It's been an insane trip to get here. We've had a lot of emotions, stress, uh, things falling apart for us, a website that went down. We were locked out of our accounts for some reason. It's been quite the ride to get here. Luckily, I have a very strong team. It's time to kick off the opening ceremonies. After countless hours of grinding, the California and Colorado teams have emerged as the elite video game designers of their states. Now they're ready to face off against the best from across the nation at the National Skills USA Championships. Whose time is it? I want to know really where you guys feel that you're at so that we can be in the right mindset for tomorrow. Yuki is to, to everybody who's going to come by that booth. Bring in the culture piece when you're talking to people. It represents your culture, your upbringing. And remember, you're already here. You guys are all champions, and I'm proud of you. You got this. What's going on? Nothing. Talk to me. No <laughs> one I do feel like a father figure for these students, and uh, we take care of each other. Hello, interactive media and video game development. All participating students arrive with their games pre-built and ready for action. On day one, they power up their displays and unleash their creations at assigned booths. Competitors are eagerly exploring their fellow contestants' creations, trying to see how they stack up. This year, the games are in a league of their own, featuring virtual reality, first-person shooters, and 3D games. Taking home the gold won't be easy. So it is 1 o'clock, and the competition has begun. The judges will be coming around and beginning to judge some of your entries today. You'll be demonstrating your games to the public, All right? We'll get started. Okay, it's right here. Repeat, out of play. No repeat. Today is the day, day one. You can sense the nervous energy from all the students. I've heard other advisors stressing, and uh, you know, it's 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 rough. I'm James's father. And I am James Bramble's mother. It's super exciting to be here because it's an accomplishment. Most kids don't have that dedication. They don't have that follow through. I am nervous for them and I'm excited. We got the chance to talk with Javier's team at Lakeview. We got to go over and look at their product and I was really impressed with their product as well. And they came over to check out our game. Oh man, I missed it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what school they're from, uh, but to support each other and demonstrate that all these students are champions. It's been such a surreal experience. I think just being surrounded by people from different states and seeing the different types of varieties of games. A big thing that I'm going to take away from this is definitely like learning how to animate more. And I think that we'll be more than glad to come back next year to try again, so that we're since we're actually prepared and what we know what to expect this time. The name of the game is uh, Project Zephyr. It is a third-person futuristic platformer. I have a lot of reasons that I wanted to come here. 10, 20 years ago, that wouldn't have been possible for me. It's not only because of how times have changed, but also because I have such wonderful advisors. My goal is just to show other disabled kids that you can do it too. You just got to find the right people.
On day two, students will be judged in multiple categories. All right, I don't see them like I did last time. But the primary focus is game design and technical encoding development. I used to work as the worldwide director of art for Midway Games, the makers of Mortal Kombat for Activision, for Sega. I was a 15-year-old kid, one of these high school kids, who got like their first offer to work in games early. I am super excited to participate in this competition as a judge. I was a member of Skills USA as a student 20 years ago, so it's really cool to get to return after spending a long time benefiting from what Skills USA taught me. I love how well thematically put together everything is. I love the cohesion. How did you choose this color purple? What was the choice? I think because I like purple. Just, that's it? It just yeah, called for it? I want them to feel like how we feel Mexico, here the energy we have. I thought it was really inspiring. It's inviting Mexican artists to participate or maybe yeah, paying homage to more authentic. And yeah. All right, I do. I'll play. I'm okay. jumping in. So I can gain speed by eating? Oh, yeah. OK. As the judges were asking me questions and playing the game, I was thinking, like, do they like the game, or why are they thinking about the game? That was so unfair. All right. Thank you. So thanks so much. Thank you. Now that the judging is done, we just have to wait now. It's very stressful to be judged by, like, industry people, because, like, they know what they expect. I feel pretty good. We um, spent a really long time on this, um, so I, I'm hoping for the best. While we were waiting for the judges, our nerves were clearly high. We were like, okay, we're a bit worried over it. James, my heart is beating so One of the most important things that Mr. Ortega said to us was we have to sell our game, because if you have a product, a really great one, you could have put thousands of hours on it, like great story, great characters, great everything. But if you don't sell it well, no one's going to get to see it. So I want to introduce you guys to Toaster Head. So imagine you're on your jog when suddenly a toaster comes crashing from the sky at Mach 10 speed, merging into your head and giving you power to shoot toast. They can have a great product, but if they don't have the marketing aspect, the whole product can just go down the sideline. Run from the final. Thank you. can't believe the kitchen god did this to me. <laughs> yeah. I Good like uh, the uh, sustained investigation of Toaster Head, all right? Okay. Good job. I'm super nervous. I feel like we had a really good game. I hope the judges saw it as a really good game. I hope we win. Hey, I'll be glad to even be in the top five. It's the final day. The judges have tallied the scores, and now it's time to hand out the hardware. Application and Video Game Development High School. Receiving bronze from North Carolina, the team of Parker and Ryan. Receiving silver from Colorado, the team of Eric and Jennifer. Mexican. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh, it's just, I can't believe it. I am super, super proud of this team. They worked so, so hard. I sit back in my chair and I just start, I, mean, I, just, I just can't do anything else but cry out of happiness. You place four. Or no way, we're so close. 
when it's all said and done, you guys achieve something tremendous. You guys create a great game that we still can commercialize. Just imagine that board plays Skills USA national winner game. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with that. With both teams finishing in the top four, they were offered a chance to take it to the next level. Visit a video game studio to see how the pros build a game from the ground up. They're one step closer to unlocking their dream gig in the thrilling world of gaming. Started for nothing, we did it, we made it, we turned into something. Hi, come on in. After Nationals, we got invited to Ascendant Studios. Get what you give, I gave it my all, now we in a running. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Ascendant, we're an independent studio, AAA developer. Today, you guys will get to make your own experience like inside of our game engine. The students were given an exclusive tour of Ascendant Studios, where they learned how a AAA studio brings characters to life with the help of mocap. They met department leads where they created scenic landscapes, crafted epic battlefields, and finally got a glimpse at what it takes to create a cinematic game sequence. Now, they're reflecting on their adventure. So, Eric, out of all the different jobs you saw, which one did, did you like and want to do the most? Ah, uh, yo creo que lo que más me gustó a mí fue el, la cámara de animación. So I've done a lot of the mocap here, acting in it and directing in it. For today, I need you guys to help participate and shoot the mocap in terms of performing. So I need one person to help capture and three people to act out. I have a question. Esto es como con los trajes, como las bolitas. No, actually it's not. There's different ways to shoot mocap. What we have today is a different type of suit system. These little trackers are sort of like mini Wii remotes or something all over your body, and they track like your body movements. This mocap is way cooler looking than like the ping pong bongs just hanging out over there. One seems like you're covered in ping pongs. The other one kind of looks like a hero suit. Right. <laughs> Eric, you're going to stand here on this mark. And then I need you guys to be standing on those green marks. So the beats here are like, you'll be like doing like the sword demonstration. And then I'll say, look, look. And then you're going to be like, oh, I see this. You'll be tracking the dragon coming in. And everyone's like, you know, reacting to it. And then it's going to come in close. And you guys are all going to like cower as it runs. James, I want you to hit the capture. You guys get in positions? OK, we're recording. OK. And everyone start, you know, practicing. Look, look. Everyone turn around. Oh, it's starting to come, it's starting to come. It's getting close, duck, duck. Oh. And stop. Cool. I was really inspired by Julia because I would like to work in the video game development and she was like the only woman that I see here. Julia here is in charge of leading the team that makes the levels in our games. And so she's gonna help show you guys how to make your level for your experience. This is a level from our game where you fight the dragon, the war beast that you just did the, um, the mocap for. You can see right now, it's all dirt. Over here on the left side of the screen, we have all of these different textures loaded into the landscape. What we want to do is start to have some visual interest to this actual level. When I just got here, I was looking and there were only men here. So when I just saw the lady that was here in the office, I think it's a good inspiration for me because it will be my dream job. As a woman, how do you feel like being in, the, in this position, like in the video game? It's been a journey. You know, there's not very many women in the industry. And I was really fortunate. The first person who I basically met straight out of school was um, Kim Lyons. She was my mentor. So I've just always tried to be that to other developers. Today, I'm going to have all four of you take a chance here. There's this pillar we need to replace with something. Then this platform over here. Then we need to paint the grass and the foliage. What was your guys' favorite part of the game? Because my favorite part was we had the grappling hook and the red shot, so I would just keep walking over to ledges and just dragging the enemies and pushing them <laughs> off. It's just like, no, no, I won't fight you. You're at full health. I'll just take you over here and drop you. <laughs> All right, this is Jason Warnke. He's going to show you guys the level that you guys just made and the cinematic and everything, and now you're going to get to actually get hands on and make the combat engagement. This little drop down right here is actually just the cutscene the dive bomb and the combat. So if you're like, okay, that dive bomb spot wasn't quite right, I wanna move it over, you press that button and then you press play and it just jumps right into the dive bomb moment and you can tweak it and iterate it from there. If anyone would like to try to fix this, I would be happy to let you try. 
<risa> Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Go for it. Como con el conocimiento que yo tengo haciendo todo esto, como tal, yo siento que puedo seguir, ya que pues, programé a Yuki como tal. Y pues me faltan cosas por pulir, pero siento que podría hacer las cosas. So now the uh, archer who will up there will jump down and not jump through the wall. All right, I'd like to show you your experience, the mocap, the environment art, and the combat that you created. <laughs> right on time! This is basically my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like, this place is amazing. I could really see myself like working, even like running a place like this. When I just see the art pathway here, I was like, I really like to do this in the future because I do that with Yuki, with storyboards. I really like this. Esta experiencia, pues, me ayudó a confirmar que quiero seguir trabajando en esto y ya dejar de lado lo que es toda mi familia. Pues, todos son en sí venden ropa, son, como se dice, comerciantes. Y pues ya yo alejarme de eso y hacer una cosa diferente. I'm much more of an engineering building person. I'm building games, for sure. This is a lot of fun. Westminster and Victorville's gaming teams, led by determination and hard work, have leveled up their gaming skills, but their journey is just beginning. What about your journey? Are you ready to fire up your passion? Go to Skills Jam and find out how to craft your skills into a limitless career. <laughs>